Hello, my name is Ethan Malley, and today it is Bradley's birthday. Hooray! I hope you wish Bradley happy birthday in the comments. I will heart your comment, because duh, he's my best friend. And also, today, I'm going to be telling you my top five Switch games. Number five, Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 is, oh, by the way, Octo Expansion is part of this. So, yeah, you're going to hear me talking about Octo Expansion 2. It's because it's technically part of the game. Splatoon 2 is an ink third-person shooter. Yes, I do not like gun games. And I play Splatoon. But there's a reason. It's ink guns. They're not actual real guns. They're ink guns. So like Fortnite, an example, has real guns in the game. This has fake guns, which are ink guns. So back to the top. Back to the top 10. So Splatoon 2. Now I'm just talking about the original single player, single player campaign. It, it's awesome, really good. And then there's nothing much to it. The boards are unique. Like I remember one board that is really difficult that you have to avoid these octo balls and Yes, I said balls, but, but yeah, and so, and it's not really, it's good, but not that good. I can imagine games way better than Splatoon 2. Number five, Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 is, oh, by the way, Octo Expansion is part of this. So, yeah, you're going to hear me talking about Octo Expansion 2. It's because it's technically part of the game. Splatoon 2 is an ink third-person shooter. Yes, I do not like gun games. And I play Splatoon. But there's a reason. It's ink guns. They're not actual real guns. They're ink guns. So like Fortnite, an example, has real guns in the game. This has fake guns, which are ink guns. So back to the top. Back to the top 10. So Splatoon 2. Now I'm just talking about the original single player, single player campaign. It, it's awesome, really good, and then there's nothing much to it. The boards are unique. Like, I remember one board that is really difficult that you have to avoid these octo balls, and yes, I said balls, but, but yeah, and so... And it's not really, it's good, but not that good. I can imagine games way better than Splatoon 2. Now for the multiplayer, I don't really play it that much, but there is this mode called Salmon Run, where you have to collect salmon eggs and yeah, that's all. Now for the Octo Expansion, the DLC. This is my favorite part. You can actually play as an Octoling. Wow, that's awesome. 10 out of 10. But there are games way better than it. And you have to stop the telephone, a.k.a. Commander Tartar, from destroying Inkopolis. There are seven phases before you fight the final boss. You even fight your past Agent 3 in this game. And yeah, I'm not going to talk about Inner Agent 3, the secret final boss, but because I have not done Agent 
Inner Agent 3 yet. And no, Inner Agent 3 is not worth it. Just for a golden toothpick. I don't need that relic. So, that's basically it. Number four. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There are three... It's basically the same thing as Mario Kart 8, but there are three new characters. Link... Isabella, I think. You can even play as some of the cats, like Cat Mario, Cat Peach. You can even play as Inklings, which is rad. There are 16 new tracks. There are colored Shy Guys. There are colored Yoshis, and that's basically just it. Moving on. Number three, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There are new characters such as the Koopalings. And those are all the new characters. And there, there's even a stage builder, which is really awesome. And the controls are awesome. I don't really like this game that much. Because... It was wonky at first, but I've gotten used to it. I never knew you could play as an inkling. She's also a new character as well. I forgot to mention. And I think there are more new characters. And then it's basically the same as the Wii U version, but there just had to be a Switch version. I think there are 16 new courses. Battle stages. Stage builders, the best. You can customize your stages. You can even make troll stages. Yeah. Troll stages. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Number two. Mario Odyssey. This game is awesome. I love it so much. I can't believe you can throw cap, be the capture enemies. There's so many moons to collect. The darker side and the dark side just straight up suck. I love all the kingdoms. I never knew that there were costumes in the game. That are so awesome. Balloon finding is sort of dumb. You can capture Yoshi. Oh my god, that is awesome! There's so many hidden moons. There are also new bosses. The Brutals, they're awesome. There are plenty of new moves like the throw Cappy, jump off him, dive thing. You can do that to get off across large gaps. There's the worst boss in the whole entire world, Robo Brutal. The controls are awesome and yeah, that's it. Moving on. This game is close to my favoritest game ever. Mario Maker 2. It started out as... It was going to be on number 4, but since the new updates, number... F no, wait, wait. It was going to be on number 2. But since the new updates, it bees on number 1 for, for this list. You can make so many courses... There's even a story mode where you can make. There are new enemies from the original Super Mario Maker. Like, oh wait, I think all the enemies are the same. No wait, Twisters, Piranha Creepers. Those ant dudes, the ant, creep, ant creepers. There are even clear pipes in the game, as you can see. On the front cover of the thing. You there's even a 3D world style, which is the newest addition. And with the new updates, the 2.0 update. There are spikes, pokies. You can even play as Link. What kind of awesome is that? Oh no, there's also the Super Bell too, but that's in the 1.0 update. And there's this new thing called ninji speed runs and it sucks i just i hate it 
It's anxiety. Never want to do it again. Ew. Disgusting. And then, the 3.0 update. We have the Koopalings! I've been wanting the Koopalings in this game for, like, ages, and we finally get them. Same with the Super Acorn. That's awesome, too. We now have the Frog Suit. We have, oh, World Maker, oh my god, this is, the World Maker and the Koopalings is why this, this, and also the Super Acorn. There are the three things, what, that, th those are the reasons why this game is on number one in this list. It's one of the best games ever. And, oh, by the way, there's multiplayer, co-op multiplayer versus, those suck a bit too, but. You can play as Toadette, Luigi, and Blue Toad. Guess who I choose? Yeah, I choose Blue Toad. I, I even have three accounts on the Switch. And then, I also have a beta for New Super Blue Toad U, thanks to Mario Maker 2. And this game is just awesome. I create a bunch of, I created some troll levels. And yeah, it's awesome. I like it. My maker ID is in, in, is in the description if you want to copy that and play some of my levels, including my awesome world. So yeah, that's basically it. Okay, guys. Those were my top five Switch games. I hope you like and subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. Bye. Oh, and by the way, I'll also say happy birthday to Bradley. Go check out Bradley Bronstein's channel and say a quick happy birthday today because his birthday's today. Bye.